Before looking at the chemistry of the family of alkenes, it is worth to recall some important differences between those families. Hydrocarbons such as alkanes, alkenes, and alkynes lack electronegative atoms such as oxygen or nitrogen will not have bond polarity. This is a carbon-carbon non-polar bond and carbon-hydrogen non-polar bond. Because of that, they will have density less than one and they will not mix with water. Different than the family of hydrocarbons, families with electronegative atoms, such as the family of alcohols, will have polar bonds. For example, in an alcohol, a carbon will be more electropositive and an oxygen rich in electrons will have a partial negative charge. The same with the family of amines. A carbon will be electropositive and the nitrogen will also be electronegative. Even though these two families contain the same type of atoms, carbon and hydrogen, the nature of these families in terms of reactivity is quite different. The family of alkanes is unreactive. In the chapter of alkanes, we only look at the reaction of oxidation of the carbons or combustion and the reaction of halogenation. All organic compounds can burn Therefore, the reaction of combustion of alkanes is not limited to this kind of substances. In this reaction, we will have the carbons get oxidized to produce carbon dioxide, water, and energy or heat. The reaction of halogens with alkanes produces a mixture of products. Because halogenation of alkanes is so hard to control, it is easier to prepare haloalkanes using alkenes. The reaction of alkanes with halogens will take place only at high temperatures or in the presence of ultraviolet radiation, very different than an alkene where the reaction takes place at room temperature. The high reactivity of the family of alkenes is due to the presence of a pi bond. A carbon-carbon double bond is made out of a single bond, sigma, and a pi bond. This is a very weak bond, easy to break. The family of alkenes will undergo addition reactions that will occur between two reactants that will add together to form a single product without any leftover. No atoms of the reactants will be left over. First observe that the double bond is no longer present. It must break. We have single bonds only and that the two atoms of the reagent are added across the double bond. The pi bond of an alkene is weak to react with hydrogen in the presence of a catalyst, halogen such as chlorine or bromine, hydrogen halide such as hydrogen bromide or hydrogen chloride, and water in the presence of a catalyst. The first reaction, the addition of hydrogen to an alkene, also takes place for the family of alkyne. It is using the same concept of breaking the double bond to produce single bond only. The only difference is that instead, because we now have two pi bonds to break, it will require double amount of double number of moles of hydrogen gas. This reaction of hydrogenation is used commercially to convert unsaturated oils into saturated or partially hydrogenated fats. 
In this case, these substances, the oils, contain multiple double bonds. To convert them into margarines or cooking fats. It is important to understand that this reaction of hydrogenation will not take place without the presence of one catalyst. I am listing three different catalysts, but only one of them will be needed. We can practice the hydrogenation of this alkene has one double bond. And the first thing that we need to do is to break the double bond. Upon addition of hydrogen and a catalyst, our product will show that two new bonds are formed. Now these carbons are lacking an octet. That will be the position where we need to add our reagent. And in this case, we are adding two hydrogens. I always recommend the students to rewrite the molecule as it was and then to add two extra bonds where the hydrogens can be placed. We will need to add as many hydrogens to fulfill the octet of carbons. If we have used this molecule because it has the double bond twice, we will require a double amount of hydrogens. This carbon has no hydrogen when we start it, and it ends with one hydrogen. This carbon started with one hydrogen, and the end molecule now has two hydrogens. The summary of the reaction is an alkene that reacted with hydrogen gas in the presence of a catalyst to produce an alkane. Also observe a change in the name of the molecule. And now we look at the reaction with the diene. We have two double bonds, so we will need double amount of the hydrogen. We proceed in the same way. Now we need to break the double bond twice and we will add double amount of hydrogen to obtain a cycloalkane. This is another example of addition reactions to the family of alkenes. In this case, we will be adding a halogen and it will also add across the double bond. The addition of bromine to alkenes is so simple that it is used in many organic chemistry labs to determine what is the identity of unknowns. When writing the products of the reaction, the first step will be to break the double bond, rewrite the molecule, and include two brand new bonds. Now we will need to add bromines to the carbons that were forming the double bond. The final product will include bromines in adjacent positions. Addition of halogens or hydrogen gas to alkynes is very similar to the addition of alkenes. However, this reaction can be controlled. If only one mole of the chlorine gas is added to the triple bond, only one of the two pi bonds will be destroyed, and one pi bond will remain in the product. So we will see that only two chlorine were added, and we still have one carbon-carbon double bond, one sigma bond, and one pi bond. We can see that now we have single bonds only because we are using two moles of chlorine and both of the pi bonds were destroyed to produce single bond and a tetrachloroalkane. How many moles of hydrogens are needed to transform these unsaturated compounds into saturated ones? Saturated means that we will have only single bonds. First explore what is the type of bond. This is an alkyne that is made out of one sigma bond and two pi bond. This is a triene, which means it's an alkene bond to three times. It will have 
three pi bonds. The number of moles needed will be two moles of hydrogen for the alkyne and three moles of hydrogen for the triene.